Hello, Grand Rapids. This is City Manager Mark Washington. Thank you for uh, visiting with us today and lots of things that are going on in our city. We just concluded Art Prize and it was uh, fantastic. It was uh, one of the largest Art Prize uh, experiences that we've had in 14 years. And while the official count is not uh, available, we think it will far surpass last year's numbers and I can't wait to see. Uh, lots of talented artists and art pieces uh, were exhibited all over our city and I want to congratulate all the artists and participants and really thank the volunteers for their work and the, the tremendous work that was done by the incredible Art Prize staff and hopefully even next year on the 15th anniversary it will be bigger and better. Um, speaking of special events, I've, we've received a lot of calls from the um, announcement of the Santa Parade that uh, was uh, at the time being planned uh, for, to be canceled, that the Junior Chamber would no longer be able to sponsor it. And since then, this community does what it does best, steps up and collaborates. And I want to thank our special events office and particularly Yvette Pittman for her work and working with all of our partners and with Gentex as being the lead sponsor. Uh, we're pleased that uh, the Santa Parade will continue uh, this year on November 18th, this 102-year tradition uh, will continue to be here in Grand Rapids and hopefully everyone can come out and enjoy uh, that as we begin to uh, kick off the uh, holiday season. So I'm so pleased that uh, that tradition continues in our city. Uh, we also are doing a lot of good work here around City Hall. Uh, you'll start seeing some of the projects on uh, Calder Plaza and the parking ramp increasing accessibility, uh, particularly in the ele elevator in the parking garage that will allow people to uh, park anywhere in the garage and elevate up, but also increasing some accessibility uh, in our building as well. So you'll see some construction in progress around City Hall. That coincides with uh, this month being uh, the National Disability Awareness Month. And we heard a presentation from uh, Disability Advocates of Kent County, and we continue to, to appreciate them for all the work they do uh, throughout our city and the downtown area, ensuring accessibility and universal design. Now, what's good for those who need accommodations and accessibility the most is good for all of us because we all need accessible spaces. So we appreciate uh, the work of um, uh, their, their office. Also, um, we're having great conversations about the future of our city and the master plan as we reimagine what Grand Rapids will be over the next 20, 25 years. So much has changed uh, with the evolution of technology, the crises and challenges that we face around environment that we really need to be intentional about how we see the future of the city, how we're able to remain competitive both in terms of attracting people to live here, but also making sure people stay here, that we have a livable community, um, safe community, an equitable and inclusive community. And your voice is so important in that. And we heard a briefing this past week at City Commission meeting from our consultants from Planning Next, giving us an update on the work of the master plan. And there will be another meeting at uh, GRPS University November the 14th at 5 o'clock, but also if you can't make the meeting on the 14th, there'll be another meeting on the 15th at the uh, Center for Community Transformation and another meeting on the 16th of November at MTEC. So lots of opportunity for you to engage and give your feedback on how the next chapter of our city, no pun intended as we write chapters for the master plan, will be written. And that process will uh, not only and tell community feedback, but the Planning Commission will also deliberate and make recommendations on the master plan and then share those with the City Commission for final adoption. So lots of things happening as we change seasons into fall and hopefully you are enjoying uh, this special time of the year and we look forward to visiting with you next month. Take care.